Hey guys, Mr. Ray here. Uh, I'm going to continue our examples of quadratic word problem types. So uh, now we're going to look at uh, a geometry type question. So geometry involves either looking at triangles or, or rectangles usually. Um, that's, that's the scope of what you'll see in your questions, at least in grade 10. Um, so I'm going to do two examples of these, one with a triangle and one with a rectangle. Uh, the different strategies for both. So this one involves a triangle. Um, so the question here, now again with the geometry questions, unlike the projectile questions, uh, you're going to have to create the equation. So, the, um, so in this example, let's just kind of work our way through it, okay? The hypotenuse of a triangle is 29 centimeters. The other two sides differ in length by one centimeter. What are the side lengths of the triangle? So, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot here. They give us, you know, one side length, um, and they tell us that the other two side lengths are one centimeter different in, in length. Um, but no kind of formulas, no squared or anything like that. So, first thing I'm going to do is draw a picture of the triangle. Now, the key word here is hypotenuse. So when you think of hypotenuse, what type of triangle is that? Well, it has to be a right triangle. Only right triangles have hypotenuse. So I'm going to draw a right triangle, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I'm going to draw the corner that has the, the right angle, and now we can maybe start filling things in. So it says the hypotenuse is 29 centimeters. The hypotenuse is across from the right angle, so we know that this side is 21, 29 centimeters. The other two sides, we don't know what their lengths are. In fact, that's what we're being asked to find. So, um, you know, this is where we introduce the variable. We don't know these lengths. So we're not going to call one X and one Y. This is a lot like the uh, find the two numbers problem. We do know that these two lengths are one apart. So if I call, you know, if I just decide I'm going to call this X, that's going to be in centimeters. Then what's the length of this going to be? Well, it's going to be one apart. So it's either going to be x plus one or x minus one. I prefer to do the x plus one, but it would work for both. So now we've got a relationship. We know that the you know the two, the sides are x, x plus one, and twenty nine. So how can we create an equation from this? Well, it's a right triangle. So how, what do we know about the relationship between the three sides? Well, we have Pythagorean theorem. So, from Pythagorean Theorem, we know that, you know, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and c is always the hypotenuse. So, um, I'm just going to, you know, I'm not going to put the units in. Again, we take those out when we put them in uh, equations and formulas. So, that's going to be x. So if I square that side, I get x squared. Um, and then I'm going to add b squared, which b is this. So that's going to be x plus 1 squared. You have to be very careful to do it that way. So that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And c is the 29. So it equals 29 squared. So this is, uh, you can see where the squares come from. I've got an x squared here. We're going to have another one here. Um, we have an equation with with quadratic terms, this is a quadratic equation. And our goal here now is to solve. Solve for the value of x. Um, what value of x make, makes this true? So we're going to expand this. We're going to get uh, x squared plus 2x plus 1. Not just x squared plus 1 um, is equal to 29 squared. 29 squared is 841. So now we can simplify this a bit. We got two of these x squared terms. Um, so I got 2x squared plus 2x. And I'm going to just save a step here. I'm going to, I know I want a zero here so that when I solve it, I can, you know, go directly and use the quadratic formula or factoring, whatever. Um, so I'm going to subtract 841 from both sides. So I'm going to have a zero here. So 1 minus 841 is minus 840. Okay, so it looks more, it's it's all ready to use quadratic formula, but again, I've noticed, you know, all these are even numbers, so I could factor out the 2. 
divide everything inside by each of the terms by 2, I get this. Divide this by 2, still get 0. And th that, sh that nice trick where basically if I divide both sides by 2, the 2 goes away. So effectively, if I can factor out a constant once it's in this form, um, I can work with the simpler version and just get, get rid of that constant. So I got x squared plus x uh, minus 420 equals 0. Now, you could just, you know, go ahead and plug this into the, into the quadratic formula. a is 1, b is 1, c is negative 420. But I'm looking at this going, I think I know what, I think I can actually factor this because I know the difference. I'm going to have two factors with an x. And I know the two numbers I'm looking for are basically one apart because when I add them together I get 1 and when I multiply them I get negative 420. So the higher number is going to be positive, the lower one's negative. And two numbers that are one apart that multiply this would be 20 and 21. And like I said, the higher number has to be positive. And I factored it. So like I said, if you can factor something um, and you know it's factorable, do it because it's a lot quicker than the quadratic formula. So if you could just as easily, you didn't even have to divide this by 2 if you didn't want to. Just plug these numbers into quadratic, you'll get the same answers. Okay, so uh, this basically means that either x equals 20 or x equals negative 21. And this is where I look to see if they make sense. So could x be 20? Well, that would be 20, that would be 21, that, that makes sense. Uh, but negative 20, that would imply that we have a negative length. And that is definitely not happening. So that answer is invalid. Um, so the only answer that works is x equals 20, and that's in centimeters. So if I go back to the uh, my drawing here, I know that that's going to be 20. I know that that's going to be 21, and that's 29. So therefore, the side lengths of the triangle are 20 centimeters, 21 centimeters, and 29 centimeters. Okay, so that one was pretty quick. Uh, but again, the important thing, the, the key thing is to draw the picture, um, find the relationship that will allow you to make an equation, and it has to be a quadratic e equation, okay? If I, if I looked at these and maybe I thought, well, let's do an equation for the perimeter, well, that's not going to get me very far. For one thing, I don't know what the perimeter is. And by adding these together, I'm not going to get a quadratic. So that's one of the keys is you have to develop a quadratic equation for these questions. Okay. Uh, now, anytime you have a quadratic uh, geometry question, you have to draw the triangle or the or the rectangle. Um, you notice I didn't have to do a let statement here. I didn't have to say let x represent one of the sides. That's because I did a picture and I put x as one of the sides. So if someone's looking at that, they go, oh, x is one of the sides and x plus one is the other side. I didn't have to do a let statement because the picture is telling us that. Okay, whereas in a lot of other word problems, you have to identify through a let statement because there's really no picture. Okay, so I'm going to do another one of these. Uh, geometry questions uh, with a rectangle, but uh, this is a good example of a triangle quadratic word problem.